recently started feeling like Snow White. To me, you're not the Eight Dwarves, or the Seven Dwarves. You are a prince! What on earth is she talking about? There is no guy on the planet that wouldn't feel his heart skip a beat being looked at by her beautiful eyes. She has that kind of beauty and charm. And she's just, unfortunately, an extreme ditz of a beautiful woman. We met because of her eccentricity, which happened about three months ago. My name is Iwata Kiranori, 28 years old. I'm just an average salary man. For the first time in a while, I'd been doing overtime and was on my way home. Ouch! Am I being assaulted? Huh? A high heel? Did it fall out of some apartment building? Ah, excuse me! I'm so sorry. Wow, she's really beautiful. That's my shoe. Is your head hurt? Oh, no worries. It's not like I was stabbed by the heel or anything. Are you also alright? You're not hurt on your leg or anything, right? Oh, I'm okay. I'm really sorry. I was doing the weather forecast and I didn't think my shoe would fly this far. The weather forecast? Yes. The one where you say, hope the weather is good tomorrow. Pretty sure she's the same age as me and yet this is her idea of a weather forecast? Oh, <laughs> is that so? Well, you bumped into me and fell over, so clearly tomorrow must be cloudy. <sighs> cloudy. It's my brother's by It's my brother's basketball game tomorrow, so at least it isn't rain. What? Is it basketball indoors? Huh? Oh, yeah. So it wouldn't matter if it did rain. Oh god, what am I even doing? <laughs> She's such a weird girl. Oh, I'm still holding your shoe. There's no place to sit, really, so please go ahead and use my shoulder. Oh, I can't ask you to do that after I hit you in the head. Oh, don't worry about that. I'm worried that you might fall over trying to put your shoe back on. Oh, thank you so much. No worries. She reminds me of my younger sister. Is that rude? The beautiful woman walked in a different direction, but constantly turned back to bow her head in thanks. I heard a small ow, but I choose to believe that she didn't run into a telephone pole. A bump formed on my head, and the next day, just as we had forecasted, it was cloudy. Good morning, Tomonaga. Morning! Apparently there's a new mid-career recruit starting today. Oh, I haven't heard anything about that. I'm sure Mobobayashi just forgot to tell you. She always immediately goes to me, but she claims it's because she's airheaded. Oh, speaking of airheaded... I met this really weird person. She was super beautiful. Huh, as beautiful as that person? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Beautiful like that person. Wait. Oh my god, it's her! Oh, it's you from- Are you serious? Do you know her? Is this a rom-com? Shh. Seriously, be quiet. I'm freaking out. Me too. I didn't know you worked for this company. It's nice to meet you. Which means- that my self-introduction is coming late. Sorry, I am Fujieta Koyori. I look forward to working with you. Wow, what a coincidence. So, she's 27, one year younger than me. And apparently the company she worked for previously is super famous. So, you guys know each other? Turns out she's so-and-so from such-and-such. Ha 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 you're funny. So you're the airhead. Uh, no way! I'm not that cute! I'm just dumb. I'm always causing problems. Even at my previous company, I... Oh, I shouldn't be gossiping. I'll start working hard. I look forward to being taken under your wing, senpai. Yes, of course. Maybe working will become interesting with such a cute person as my kohai. Not only did she work for that famous company, but she was actually a really good employee. She was beautiful and competent, which made her popular around the office. Well, I'm sure the reason she was so popular was for one other reason. It's because she's a ditz. Miss Vegeta, you have a call from reception. Thank you. Hello, it's phone. Your phone? Ah, sorry, 
I mean, it's me. I'm a person. Hi, watashi wa ningen desu. I think they get it. You can calm down. Ugh, I wonder why I keep making these mistakes. You're making less mistakes than me. Oh, you make mistakes too, Mr. Kawada? Well, in my head. Also, my name is Iwata. Oh, oh I'm so sorry, Mr. Yamada. Again, it's Iwata. <laughs> You're always so nice, so I was just messing with you. Oh, hey, stop smiling. You're too cute. Um, Miss Fujiara, you made another airheaded mistake. Miss Nobubayashi. I get called airheaded a lot, so I totally understand. Oh, God, not her. Miss Mobubayashi is my senpai who's in her mid 30s. She's a self proclaimed airhead, but there are rumors that that's all an act. I usually tell people that my mom and dad used to call me cute all the time because I was such an airhead. <laughs> really? Are you an android, Mrs. Mobubayashi? What? Whoa, the sheer power of a true airhead. <laughs> Miss Vegeta's airheadedness really hits the spot. There's always convos like this in anime. <laughs> I have something to add on to your workload, so try to get it done today. That's harassment! Roger! Mission commenced! Probably in her head, she thinks this is the start of a sci-fi novel. I'll help you with your work. No, you shouldn't. It might be a top secret mission. All the more reason to let me help. I'm waiting on something, so I have nothing going on. I'll take your word for it. As you can see, I had fallen for Miss Vegeta. I started to think that not just at work, but in private, it might be fun to be with her. Oh, right. This is not a favor, but next time, can we go out together? Oh, like outside of work? Yeah, I have two tickets to Mouseland. I invited my brother. But he said he didn't want to go because I'm a klutz. Just the two of us at Mouseland? Any way you look at it, that's a date. If you want to go with me, I'm free whenever. Oh, thank you. Please be my leader. Am I taking a teacher position? <laughs> then it was the long-awaited day of the date. I arrived a little earlier than planned. It had been a while since I felt this nervous. If the vibes are good, I wonder if it'd be okay to tell her how I feel. Guess who? Ah, oops, I covered your mouth instead of your eyes. Uh, sorry. Is that a normal mistake? Oh, God, that was so lame from the start. I'm so embarrassed. Um, anyway, I look forward to our day together. Me too. My nerves completely calmed down. Vegeta's incredible. I'm not really the sort who likes amusement parks, but being with Vegeta, the park was fun like a dream world. I want to feel this way with her forever. Okay, I should confess my feelings to her. Here's my plan. At night, I should guide her nonchalantly to the iconic princess castle. And while looking at the fireworks, I should confess when the vibes were right. The main point is that I shouldn't say, will you go out with me? Because she's airheaded and will probably say, where? Oh, it got dark fast. Yeah. We should head to the castle soon for the fireworks. Iwara, there's a place I want to go. Yeah, this way. Come here. Wait, that's the opposite direction of the princess castle. Announcement. The fireworks show will soon begin. My plan is dead. You can't see the fireworks from here. There's no way it'll create a good mood. Vegeta, what's over here? Actually... Whoa. Actually, from here, you can clearly see the fireworks. Wow. I had no idea. I really did my research. Huh. Is what it would say, but really, my brother told me about it. <sighs> I'm always being dumb, and I was sure that even today I was annoying, so I figured that if we saw the fireworks at the end, it would even things out. You're always in a mood. Oh, so this is how Fujita sees me. No way! There was not one second or one minute that I thought you were annoying. I want to... Oh, uh, wait! Can I say something first? <sighs> Will you go out with me, please? Where? Iwara, why are you being so dumb right now? Oh, I just thought there was no way you could be asking me what I think you're asking. When I first met you, I thought you were so handsome, and when you said it will be cloudy to my weather forecast, 
I thought you must be a kind person too. And when you helped me put on my shoe, I felt I had become Snow White. You're not the eight dwarves, or the seven dwarves. What is she talking about? Wait, do you mean Cinderella? Oh, oh, Snow White was the person who pricked her finger on a needle. That's Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be laughing this much from a crush's confession. A crush? Yeah, Fujita. I like you too. Let's go out. Got it. I look forward to being with you. Five years from that moment, she and I are living together. Spending my daily life with an airheaded girl never gets boring. And every day is filled with happiness. Guess who? 